Hello everyone. I welcome you all to D2R Design Academy. It's a one-stop destination for internship and job updates in various government and private sectors. Don't forget to watch the video till the end and click on the like button if you like it and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. And one more thing, share the video with your friends. They might also get selected. So moving forward, it's an opportunity for 2021 to 22 graduates. Right. So it's at National Highway Authority of India, NHAI, and the program is of internship program. It is being offered to civil engineering students. In the students who are in the third year and final year can apply for this internship. And the internship duration is of two months and you will be provided stipend. We will discuss in detail about the internship by going to the official website. Yes, friends. So here, AICT is the official partner of providing internships. So at the AICT internship webpage, this link will be provided in the description. You can check it out from there. As we reach over here, you can see that there are NHA internship programs. This internship program is offered all over India. Not at just one place. As you can see over here, I will just show you, go through some of them. Here we have Del Delhi. Next we have Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, Punjab, Chandigarh. So Bihar. So various cities and various states have different domains, and they are providing same amount of duration or stipend as well. So what we'll do is we'll go through one of them and we'll go through the requirements. So here this is for Maharashtra, and this is for Delhi. We'll go through this one. So this is being offered to the students who are in the civil engineering program and they are in the third year or fourth year of the internship program okay in the engineering program so here you can see that they are from the bachelor's program master students cannot apply as it is said over here but only bachelor students can apply who are in the engineering undergraduate course and they are available for a duration of two months and they should have required skills and interest and the one more important thing is they should be having what is the application procedure for applying this is they should have at least 70 percent of marks right students should have at least 70 percent of cutoff marks to be eligible for this program and no backlogs or reference in any of the subjects so what will be their work and what i have to do to submit is at the time of joining on selection, applications are required to produce a letter from their HOD or principal stating a no objection certificate that they don't have any objection to the student pursuing internship program. So this is a very good opportunity. Students can avail this. And while doing an internship program, they should maintain a attendance of 75 percentage. So it is very easier because this internship program is available in your own city. For example, someone is from Delhi, he can apply for the Delhi internship program. No need to apply for Maharashtra or Chandigarh or Haryana programs. He can apply for the Delhi program. If he gets selected, he can be in the same city and he can appear for the internships. Right. So he can maintain the 75% attendance. And it is only allowed for two months, no extension will be given. And all the interns will have to abide by the work rules and ethics by the NHI, like timing and all those things, they will have few work rules, right? So you have to follow them. And stipend will have no financial ability. So next thing is, accommodation and travel should be the responsibility of the intern only. So you will not be provided accommodation. You should only make arrangements for that. Because this is available in your own city, it does not require the accommodation, I guess. The only traveling will be required. And students should submit an undertaking before joining at the place of deployment to the effect that they are undergoing internship at their own risk. And NHI won't be held responsible in any case of any eventuality during the training. So this is an undertaking form in general which all the government organizations state that the student itself is interested. So they are not being forced to take the internship program, something like that. And if anything happens, so the student is responsible. He should be careful while doing that. Right. So the next thing is that at the end of the internship, student shall be required to submit a copy of the project report to his reporting officer or controlling officer in NHA. 
next interns will be required to have their own laptops okay. but nhl provide them space and internet facility and other things which even some means required like power connection and all those things right next experience certificate will be given to in interns who have successfully completed all the requirements of the internship like 75 percent attendance should be there they should submit a report these all things if they have submitted they will get an experience certificate and so here you can see here at delhi there are 50 openings right in the same way if you go through the other one which is for maharashtra it is in this location pandharpur in maharashtra and they are having only one opening in the same way for different localities if you go for himachal you can see there are 50 openings over here so each locality has various amount number of vacancies and here Maharashtra has this so in Panvel so different different localities they have divided into we have different PIOs and SS here in Panvel there is one internship opportunity so the student who is residing in Panvel he can apply for that who is residing here Delhi they have not shortlisted each locality they have given a whole sum so complete Delhi whoever is present they can apply for that Right, so, so the students who are in Maharashtra can also apply for the Delhi, but they will not be getting the accommodation provisions and all those things. Right, so I guess uh, this was clear for everyone. They can directly you now application is you can directly reach out and apply. So here there will be apply option. You can click over here and you can go for the application procedure. Right, so you know that you are in the final year or you have completed. You don't have any criminal case. And you can click on the upload here you can click on login and you can submit your details right so this was from my end if you have any queries or if you have any questions you can let me know in the chat box and students the one more important thing is these internships from the government organizations will really help will really help you in gaining more knowledge as you'll be having more exposure and it will also have huge value to your course, whatever the course you are doing. If you are in, if you are going to do masters, then also you will play important role because you have done an internship and government organization, right? Because many students will be applying for this, and only few will get shortlisted, right? Because around out of thousand, they are having, for example, only fifty vacancies. So that shorting or shortlisting will be very high over here. So if you are Getting shortlisted and getting selected, it's the best opportunity for you to do that. Right? Now, if you have any questions, you can let me know in the chat box or in the comment section. I will get back to you. Right? Still, then, stay strong, stay safe.